and this is the second tutorial on an introduction to Dreamweaver CS6 and creating HTML5 websites. Okay, in this session we are going to look at the creating a new HTML page from scratch and we are also going to look a little bit at the structure of a website or how things would normally be ordered. So, I'm going to create a new HTML page and this is going to be my main page for um, this website um, I will just call my title example 101 and I'm going to save this straight away as index um, in the previous example we created a Dreamweaver site so we've already got a folder example site 101 um, the reason I'm going to create an index file is because this is the first file your browser will search for when it's sent to a URL. So if you send it to, say, for instance, www.mydomain.co.uk, it would then look for the index page in that folder. Um, the reason we would order our files into folders is so that you can give some kind of context to each individual element. So what would normally happen in a website is we would have folders that contain things such as scripts and we might call that includes because they're included in the file at some point. We might also have a folder called CSS which is where we would keep our styles. And these would normally come in the roots of the site so your top folder is the root that's the main root of the site that's where your normal index page goes but every subsequent in folder could be considered a website in their own right if it contains HTML pages then you would normally have an index in there too we would also maybe have a folder for images and that's about as far as we will go in this case for this example site across these example videos. So in the design view I'm just going to start entering some text and that will be um, example 101 site and this is going to be my main heading in this page and your main heading would normally be formatted as H1 so I can highlight that text choose H1 and that then instantaneously becomes H1 if I look in the split view you can see this going along as we go on and I've got the tag H1 slash H1 and in between there the text that I've just written I've also got a new paragraph if I want to start writing um, and what I'm going to do here is insert from layout and navigation at the insertion point so that will put it here where the um, paragraph is currently um, I'm not going to give it um, a class but I might give it an ID of main menu and this is where I'll put my series of main links for bit pages that I create I click OK and it will create a new nav nav ID main menu content for nav ID goes here and it's illustrated by a box um, similarly I could put um, my header 1 in um, a header as you normally have a header and I can also find that inside of layout I highlight that um, I could give it an ID currently I'm not going to so I'm going to wrap around the selection I can put it before the tag after the start of the tag or before the end of the tag or after the tag currently we want to encompass or encapsulate the H1 with this and then that becomes the header. Quite often in a website you would have an image as a header but currently we're just going to use some text. 
So in here, I would have the names of the links that I'm going to create. So I will have uh, index, and I will have um, headings. I will have media. I will have styles. And I will also have script. And I will also have layout. Okay. And this should be enough. With each of these, I can actually highlight the text and I can make a link in a number of ways. I can either use insert and common and then insert a hyperlink. And to illustrate the text, I can put the link in. If the files exist, then I can click on a file from this browse window, or I might just type it in now. So, um, this is to go to the index. I can select the index, click OK. Target is the window. I'm going to leave these blank for now. We'll cover that at a later point. Title, um, index page, and access keys if you want to use them, tab indexes. Um, we'll cover that at a later point with accessibility. So I'm just going to leave this as a basic for now. OK. And another way I can do this is to highlight the text and then go down to the properties, choose link, and type in the name of the file that I would like to link to. I'm going to go media. Do the same again. This is quite a quick way of doing it. And all the way along, you can see in the left-hand window, Dreamweaver is actually entering the HTML code for me. So you can learn it along the way if you work in the design view by looking in split. So now that I've created my links, I may also insert some kind of article, which will be my main page. I find that in layout and article. Um, add insertion point. I'm not going to have an ID because it's just going to be my main article. I'm going to refer to that to start off with. So at the insertion point, I click OK. Article goes in there. And then I may wish to put um, a section within there. So I'll just click a section, wrap around selection. And you'll notice in the HTML, so I've got a section there. And this is going to be my main article. So I was put main article and section one. The main article can be moved just outside of this section as a heading and I'll put that in as a heading 2 because you can only have one heading per page that is H1 but you can have as many H2s, 3s, 4s, 5s or 6s as you like and they stipulate the order so this is the second most important heading I could also have another article which would also have the same heading size section 1 I maybe want to give a heading heading 3 Okay. So in this file I'm going to just put a little bit about page structure. So my main article can be called an introduction to page structure. And this will just reflect that basic HTML page. And inside of there I'm going to take some text from one I've already done before. So I'll just take this text here, which is an example of a very basic web page with nothing in it. And I'm also going to then take the text from underneath, which explains a little about, about how that is working. About tags coming in pairs um, and about the slash to do with a closing tag 
Uh, there is another type of tag which we'll come across shortly in one of our future examples which is known as a self-closer and that's only got one tag. Um, in fact there's an example there, the met carry set is a one tag. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paragraph which is surrounding all of this and I'm going to give it the class code because at a later point when we start styling I would like to make this different from the rest of my text so currently I'm not going to because we're just going to shortly end this by outside of the article I'm going to insert a footer that insertion point okay and you would normally in your footer maybe put um, a secondary menu or you'd maybe put um, your copyright so in this case I'm going to put my copyright so 2013 and I can insert the copyright most easily in the design view in the code view sorry by finding the point I would like it some space putting in amp and then scrolling down to copy and copy and that will let me insert that when you look in here there we go so I'm now going to save that file quickly preview it just so you can see it so that's the bare bones what it looks like to start off with and this is roughly what it may look like shortly with some styling okay 